I think there were some shoes. Oh, hello, Reflection Me. What is up, my Lumpias? It's Vanessa, and welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, I'm really excited because this is a little bit of a series, but um, we, if you don't know yet, if you haven't watched the video, I'm gonna link it in the eye, but I am pregnant. Um, currently, as of today that I'm filming this part of it, I am just over three months pregnant, which is really, really exciting. Still got morning sickness, but um, you know, it's lasting for like a less amount of time, which I think is good. Um, so it's slowly going away. I know some people talk about how they wake up and it's all of a sudden gone. I guess maybe the feeling of having to like go and throw up. Hopefully that happens to me soon. But um, yeah, so what we are gonna be tackling today is we are in the nesting period, the nesting phase. And I know a lot of people will do that in like the third trimester, but they're more referring to doing baby's nursery. But to me, when I think of nesting, I think of preparing not only baby's nursery, but the whole house. And that also means preparing myself for baby. And as you guys know, I have a lot of types of clothing from crop tops to like graphic tees. Like I have literally everything, like corporate clothing, like everything I have it. Going into my mom era, I feel like I need to dress a little bit different, more mature. I'm 32 years old. It's time to get out of that party phase and be in that mom phase, but still be, you know, I can still be a hot mom, you know, with some things, but there's some things where it's like, okay, am I really gonna wear this? Probably not. So we're gonna declutter. I know, how many times have I decluttered the closet? But we're gonna declutter the closet room today and I'm really excited to do that because you know what? We need to make some space for baby. We're gonna need some room for, um, for more mom friendly, bump friendly clothing, for some more modest clothing, more mature. So we need to make some room clear things out and get into that mom era. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you like these types of videos, make sure to like it for the YouTube algorithm as well as click that subscribe button down below as I post every single Friday. And with that, let's get into the video. So my goal is not necessarily to like get rid of half my clothes or whatever. My goal is to have a more elevated closet of things I'm going to wear in like my mom era and my pregnant era and part with things that I'm not gonna realistically wear anymore. I am looking at my shoes and I think I should get rid of a couple. I was talking to Judith and she was like, cause she has four children. She's like, trust me, don't be like me and get rid of shoes. Cause these were a pair I was gonna get rid of, but they're my only heels that have a platform in the front and those are apparently the most comfortable. These were like my clubbing shoes back in the day, but I haven't worn them since Mitch and I have been together, so like six years. I'm like, hmm, Emma, do I need these? Because I have lots of other heels, but I don't know. I've had these for a while, and they are these suede booties. Honestly, the condition of them is impeccable for them being suede, they're all dough. I've worn these a couple of times, and honestly, I have leather booties that I'd rather wear over these. So I'm not really into the short booties. I prefer more coverage on my ankles, so. I'm actually gonna get rid of these, surprisingly. They were a pair of my mom's shoes. They're not really my style, but they're super light now that I'm holding them. The thing with runners is like, if they're in like good condition, I'm like, I might as well keep it, you know? But I don't know if I'd wear these. I don't know if the color's my thing. And I have so many other ones. I'll get rid of these. I don't think I'm gonna wear them. Okay, hello, it is a new day. I am getting bigger and as you can see there's like clothes on the floor because it's new clothes that I have and I know this is a decluttering video Vanessa what are you doing but um, I had to get clothes from my mom era so what I'm doing right now um, I've been like putting it off for a while which is like decluttering I also have a bunch of things to post on my Poshmark it's just been a lot we've been doing stuff in the basement which is a whole other video 
We're gonna go through everything logically here. I was thinking about taking things down, putting them on the ground, but honestly, I can't bend down with this belly. One of the things I've been actually eyeing every time I go into my closet is this cardigan. It is so cute with the little teal, like light blue and pink hearts. So cute. I thought it was cute for like Valentine's Day, for the office. It's actually from Shein. It's so, so, so soft, but unfortunately, I honestly don't think I'm gonna wear this. It kind of makes me look childish, so we're gonna get rid of her. I have this, and honestly, I've kept it because I thought it was so cute, because it's like, it's kind of sexy. It's like see-through-ish, but it could be like a good like cover-up or whatever, but honestly, I've never worn this. I've, okay, I've worn this like a couple times, but not to the point that I'm like in love with wearing it all the time. Like I've, it doesn't really serve a purpose other than visual. It doesn't like keep you warm or anything. So I think I'm gonna get rid of this too. I tried this dress on. I got this for myself. I got it from um, like one of those consignment shop things. It's really cute, but I just don't know if it matches me. this dress on as well because I'm not sure about it I like it I thrifted this actually I don't know every time like I see the dress I'm like nah, I'm not gonna wear it this time I'll wear it another time and I obviously haven't had a chance to wear it I thrifted this and I washed it and it's like a Tommy Hilfiger puffer vest but I feel like it's so cute like the white but also with the logo, I, but also now that I'm looking at it, I'm not quite sure about it now. Just cause it's white. I don't know if I'll wear it, so. Okay. I have this vest, which is so cute. You just wear it over a shirt. Okay, I feel like the bottom half is the hard half. By the way, I love how I organized it. I feel like if anyone wants to get a tip from me on how to organize things, it's how I did my clothes. On the bottom rack, I have it by color, but it's by type. So it's like sweaters, like long sleeves. Then it goes to t-shirts. Then it goes to tank tops. That's how it is. And I love it. And then I have like my hanging pants and skirts over there because, you know, there's some skirts and pants you have to hang. So we're going to go by color. So let's start here. This is a top I thrifted, but look at the buttons all the way down. There was a top I actually wanted but it was so much more expensive and I was like, I guess I manifested it and I found it in person. So I thought it was so cute. So keeping that. This is something I, I've had it for so long. Mitch hates it because it looks so like Gino Gina-esque, but look at that. You cannot like get rid of that. Like there's no way. This is like so vintage. Look at the tag. Like I've had this since high school. I have to keep it. Like, imagine me with my baby in the stroller, like, rocking this. Like, uh -huh. who is she? Pink and orange, because I have, like, no orange or anything. Hello. It is the next day, because I was charging my camera, but we're continuing on with the orange and the pinks. I did a quick look through, and there's only one that I'm kind of, like, eh about and that is this one. Um, it is so soft and everything, but it is thin. Sweater, you want it to be warm, so I'm not quite sure about it, so we're gonna put it in the maybe pile, but put the rest back. Now we're into reds. My favorite color, purple. Honestly, there's like nothing I wanna get rid of. I haven't even worn this. I got this off Poshmark. I thought this would be cute for the office. I thought I'm supposed to get rid of things. The problem is too, I work in an office setting. So when you work in an office setting, there are clothes that you need to wear for an office setting. Okay, like dress shirts and that kind of stuff. If I didn't have that, a lot of things would be gone from my closet. But because I have that work type of work, I have to be mindful of that. Sweater, shirt, I love it. I've worn it to the office, got so many compliments on it. But at the same time, the one thing that annoys me about it is that you have to tie the ends and it keeps coming loose every time I do it. So honestly, I might get rid of this. Beige browns. Okay, this first sweater. Okay, let me put this up. Give a, give a minute here. So this one. Okay, 
I went to the store in our last road trip called Burlington and I saw this and I just was the nostalgia was so real. It's Cartoon Network, but this is not something I'd wear in public. <laughs> like I wouldn't go to dinner in this, you know, this would be like for a cottage or just to bum around it. It's so soft on the inside. Like I love it. I don't think it should be hung here. Like I think I need to do something here for my sweaters. So I'm gonna put it in this little pile. This sweater is amazing. I love it, but I don't know. Like, I feel like maybe it's the color. It blends with my skin really well. Um, so I feel like we're gonna get rid of her. I've worn it to the office and people think it's like really cute and everything, but I don't know. There's just something about it where I'm like, I don't know. I've had this for years and it's so cute for Christmas. But every year I've worn it for Christmas, <laughs> like for an ugly sweater party, which it's not ugly, it's cute, but I've always worn it. Like there's so many, like I've had it, I don't know. I feel like it's time to get rid of it. I'll ask Mitch his opinion, but I think I'm going to get rid of it. So I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile. Do you see me? How high I'm like flicking my thing. Okay guys, I'll show you, I'll show you. Okay, look, look, like look at that. Now we're in the last of the long sleeves. Finally, we're in the blacks now. So we have this Kendall and Kylie cropped hoodie. Mitch got this for me a couple years ago. I've worn it a couple times. This is a plain black um, long sleeve. This is from Zara, but like, look at the ends. I think it's so cute for the office, whatever. Love it. I just want to say it's so hard to get rid of tops when they're all so different, okay? I was just looking through my like creams and whites of tank tops and they're all literally different. Like I have a graphic Marilyn Monroe. I have like this chiffon Mickey and Minnie Mouse one. I have like tassels. I have just a plain layering for the office. I have like a white little crappie. Like this has like lace. It's uh, like everything's cute, but it's just all different, so. You don't know what you're gonna get rid of. Hey, I feel like I got rid of some stuff. Okay, now, this is the one that is gonna have a problem. This is all like my really, really crop tops. I know you're gonna say, Vanessa, we saw some crop tops hanging. Why are some here? I thought I was making space by hanging them here, but then it turned into this, so I started hanging some, okay? So we need to go through these one by one and decide what to get rid of. So I have some good news. So the pile on the table, you can see the table. Finally, there are a couple things that like I need to like try on and stuff, but that's okay. Everything else is hung. There's a whole ass pile behind you guys that I need to try on. I brought up a chair from like downstairs to put that stuff together so that way it's kind of separated from here. It's the reality of doing a clothing try on when you're pregnant. So this was something that I got from like the brand's Gone Wild store. It's a set, but like, look, it's a size medium. I'm wearing like my aligned leggings underneath, but like pregnant life, right? Like it won't button up. So I'm just seeing how they look together as a set, seeing how cute or not cute it is. Um, it's cute. <laughs> Uh, I just wanted to see how it looks on me. You know, when you see it on the model, it's different than when you see it on a person. So I'm glad it looks cute. So now I can know I can hang it. But yeah, this is so exhausting to do a try on. I was like, oh, I'll film clips of me doing the try ons. But honestly, I get so tired trying stuff on. So honestly, I just do the try ons when I feel like it. And yeah, the pile is slowly growing. Okay, we're down to the last couple of try-ons. Um, I'm trying on this jacket. I got this from a community yard sale. And it's so cute with the embroidery, but it's it's big. It's an, a men's extra large. It's big, so I'm like, am I gonna actually wear this though? But it's so cute. Like, look at the back. The back is like, what's amazing about it that I want to keep it for myself, but realistically, do am I gonna wear this? Like, where would I wear this to? 
Maybe I'll just take a picture so in memory because it's so cute. But this one I'm not quite sure still. I'm like, am I gonna wear this? Am I not gonna wear this? It's almost winter time. Let's see if I even wear it. I think next year I might try the thing. I was gonna do it this year, but I changed my mind where you flip your hanger another way to so that way you've known you've worn it for the year and then items that you didn't flip around those are the things you decide to declutter or not i might try that next year because it seems like a good idea this is my get rid of pile all this stuff here all of it i'm getting rid of which is amazing yeah i think that's the biggest pile i've ever done for a closet clear out we're gonna get to the next part which is the drawers in the bedroom and i really need to get rid of some stuff from there because it's getting difficult to close i feel like it's getting a little bit full like you can see it's pretty full um and that's not all like my pj is like clearly i'm wearing some right now and every time i try to fill it it always gets really full so we're gonna take everything out first empty and this is everything in the drawers like it's ridiculous I have a lot of clothes like all this mostly swimsuits but like look at the progress tell me how I forgot there's a whole other drawer I have to do I was like put I already moved the camera back to the wardrobe room I was like oh I need to count do my outro and I totally forgot about this drawer, so <laughs> we need to tackle this one. Obviously, I'm not doing too much active wear, utilizing it too much right now. Like the stretchy pants, obviously, but there are some things that I think I should be able to get rid of. So we're going to look at everything quickly. So I have this one and I've worn these before and they are so cinching, but they are so bright that I'm not quite sure. And I actually have a Lululemon matching set. I'm just washing the top and it's kind of like the same shade, but it's more muted, you know what I mean? This is very loud. So I feel like I'm gonna get rid of this because I don't think I would ever wear this together as a set. It's very, very loud and yeah, I don't think I will wear that, so. I feel like I have a lot more tops and bottoms here. So it's kind of like tripping me out. Of, but we are getting rid of a bunch of things here so pretty proud of myself so yeah it wasn't as hard as I thought it would be and that in concludes my closet to clutter as you can see I got rid of lots of stuff it's all on the floor all this I'm getting rid of so that the grand total is 122 items I'm getting rid of which is insane because like look at my this still looks full. <laughs> but honestly, I'm really happy that I'm downsizing and getting rid of things because I'm going into my mommy right Oh, look at the belly. Slowly I'm getting rid of things that I'm not wearing anymore. Going into my mommy area. So I'm really excited about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like these decluttering videos, this is part of like the my nesting phase series. So um, there's gonna be a lot more decluttering going on. I'm gonna declutter the whole house basically before she gets here, which is in about like almost 10 weeks from now. So, which is insane. Like two and a half months and she'll be here. So exciting. Once again, if you like these types of videos, hit that like button and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below as I post every single Friday. Thanks for watching and see you next week. Bye.